is Luke. How's it going? And I'm going to show you what you have to do to open the floodgates or where you have to go to do this on the Sunken Dragon map as part of the uh, the assignment to get the Unica 6. Not that way. Come on, we need you over here. So basically, what you have to do. Oh shit, it's partially out of bounds on this obliteration map. But basically what you have to do, see if I can make it. Come on, there's nothing out there. Move back here. You have to get your ass over here and then press E. Okay, just kidding. I guess it doesn't work on obliteration. Fuck. Alright, so I fucking hate the game mode obliteration now because it wouldn't let me Oh fuck me. I chose domination and this one's even further away from the place we're supposed to be. I need to go into that building. And then that's how you activate the floodgates. The floodgates are already activated. Shit. <sighs> okay. Son of a fucking piece of shit ass cock dick balls. I have been struggling so badly to make this fucking video. First off, let me assess what the fuck you have to do the for the, here, for the so stupid shit. If that helicopter hit me, actually, I probably just would have left. This is all you do. You just come here to this part of the map. This is where I'm at. You can see right there where the little star is next to C. You do that, and you lower the floodgates. I don't think this works on an empty server like I'm doing right now, but that's what you're supposed to do. Once the water is completely, like, flowed all the way out, I think after a couple minutes you'll be able to make the water rise up again. So, this isn't, like, only possible once in a map like I originally thought it was. Oh yeah, that's... Oh, okay, that helicopter explosion was unnecessary. But yeah, when you lower the water, it makes the jet skis in the water explode. But yeah, this is not limited to doing it once per match, at least not... Not when you're alone in an empty server, although I'm guessing somebody else is already here and did it, considering some of the objectives have already been taken. But, um, yeah, you just wait until... All you have to do is just activate it somehow. It doesn't matter if, um, if the water is rising or lowering, it, it'll, it should work and count for you. Now, I'm going to tell you guys what the problem has been for me. I... It's like God himself doesn't want me to make this video, and that he just wants you guys to figure this out for yourselves. I'm sure there's other videos on it anyways, but not ones with this much frustration. So, after uh, after the uh, little me trying to do it with Domination Clip, I tried doing it with Rush, and the place where the map started out with Rush... Um, I'm going to screw around with the RAR a little bit. Um, but the place where the map starts out with Rush, for one, isn't anywhere near where you have to do the floodgates shit. Um, and for two, uh, apparently with Rush, you have to wait until people are actually, like, you see this waiting for players, players needed bullshit. When that's the case in, um, like, when it does that in Rush, the MCOMs aren't activatable by the offensive team so I wasn't able to progress any further and I don't know how Rush even like paths out on this map but you know I, so for one I don't even know if it would end up near uh, this shit where you activate the floodgates um, but I, I couldn't know because I couldn't activate any MCOMs because this is, this is the RAR. It's pretty awesome. I haven't used it actually in game, but it's an M240 Bravo mounted on top of what looks to be a slightly bigger EOD bot. And then switch weapons, you got some, uh, some M320s. Um, but, anyways, as I was saying, um, it reminds me of the assault drone from Modern Warfare 3. Uh, so, yeah. So, well, yeah, as I was saying. So Rush didn't end up working out. So I joined a fucking domination server. I, uh, or no, it wasn't domination. Conquest Large. And I join in, and I see... It, on Battlelog, it said it was empty. And so I join in, and it turns out there's another player in the lobby. I'm like, oh shit, there's another player. Because I also noticed there's, like 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 how you see here, there's a, there's been objectives 
it had been uh, taken. And there was in that lobby. So I was like, whatever, you know what? Knowing my luck, he might even kill me on uh, my way there. So I pick up the little bird like you saw me do in this video. And I fly over to the shit. And right as I touch down with my parachute, the fucking, the other person in the lobby turns out he's actually in the control room. Control room and he just activated the floodgates just as I showed up and I killed him and I start typing in the chat I was like you son of a bitch because I thought you were only out able to activate it once so I was gonna have to go through like finding another lobby and shit and I was gonna type in like ha 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 or like an XD face to make myself not seem like a mad asshole and right as I was about to do that a fucking computer crashes on me so it does this thing where it's like your PC has encountered a problem it needs to restart and it does that so much with this game in general and it really pisses me off I don't know why it does it it's probably really bad and I probably need to get it fixed because it could possibly harm my PC I don't know I'm not really familiar with PCs as far as that shit goes I am pretty newfound to PC gaming I only started back in December of 2013 which is about half a little over half a year ago um, I do have a pretty good PC right now and all but I mean still I ever since I got my new PC parts and shit it's it's been doing this with Battlefield 4 and it did it once with Call of Duty Ghosts as well holy shit this thing must weigh a, a fucking ton but I don't know why it's doing this but it's honestly getting on my last nerve why it's doing these restarts because I tried making this part of the video again uh, a second ago on another domination server and I, I started telling this exact same story, and another guy ended up joining, and he and I ended up killing each other a couple times, and then guess what? My fucking computer crashes on me again, like, while I'm recording the video, and when it does that while you're recording, uh, at least with this program, I'm using Action, uh, this recording software, which is pretty nice, but, well, f except I, it doesn't let me compress the video files for some reason, so that's kind of stupid. It does do that with Fraps, though, so... I guess that's one benefit Fraps has over action. But for, s for some reason, when my computer crouches as I'm recording, the video file just gets like corrupted. Which I shouldn't say for what reason, because it's pretty obvious that that would happen. But that's still, like, I don't know why it's doing this, but it's really pissing me off. And I really wish it would, like, not do that. But anyways, so yeah, that's my story. That's how you activate the floodgates, and that's how you complete the first step of unlocking the Unica 6. Then all you have to do is just get 5 kills while swimming. I recommend using the Magnum, although it has a shitty trigger delay. It has good long range capabilities and decent power. So, that's how I've done it so far. So yeah, that'll get you the Unica 6, and most of us know we're probably just going to use the, use the Unica for the 20 headshots we have to get to unlock the Deagle, then we're never going to touch that thing again. I don't know, actually. I think the Unica... I might use the Unica a bit. It looks pretty cool, but I, I, I want to get my hands on that Beagle already. Alright. Hope you enjoyed. Hope this helped you out some. Um, and I hope you enjoyed me screwing around in the roar a little bit. And we'll see you later.